I really appreciate you going into this and explaining. So this is the next question I'd like to pose to you, if you don't mind. Sure. What alternate explanation are there scientifically for the existence of the universe? Like, I know there's more than one that could potentially make sense. Like, for example, some people say that the universe's origin, you know, the Big Bang, is actually the end of a previous, right? It's a theory. Oh, yeah or a hypothesis, if you will, but we don't have evidence prior to that because we can't empirically observe or test in any way. It's metaphysical. But are there any other metaphysical explanations to you that are just as plausible that well, don't there are require... more plausible ones than that. That's very implausible based on everything we know. But the point is that, as I said, T equals zero is an open question right now. And so was there a time before the universe? Well, Stephen Hawking would say, and, and I would tend to agree, that it might be a bad question. Because if space began, so did time. And there, there literally may be no time before the Big, Big Bang. So you can't even ask the question, what was before? It's not a good question. That's frustrating, but that's just the way it is. But that may not be the case. You're right. It could have been, it could have been an infinite cycle of collapse and expansion. There's no evidence for it. There's no good theory. There are people who promote that idea, but it's really not, not generally. Most physicists think it's ugly and not well, well defined. But, you know, the best... The best uh, what convinces argument, you the, the best, most? The best metaphysical yeah. argument for our universe is, is comes from inflation. Is that, is that, um, it, so, a, a, and it's for the origin of a multiverse. It's not really for the origins of our universe, but I'll explain it. So, early on, you have, let's say you have a Big Bang, and early on, the energy of space begins to dominate over everything else, and the universe began, begins to expand very, very fast. And then there are local pockets where there's like a like a seed forms, like a like a raindrop, where you decouple from that background expansion, and a local hot big bang develops. All that energy of empty space gets dumped into matter and radiation, and it's the beginning of it. What essentially is the beginning of a big bang. Our, okay, our big bang. But that means our universe sort of formed. But that means mo there, that means there's much more space outside of our universe which is still expanding exponentially fast. And there could be other universes forming now and other universes collapsing now. And mm -hmm. it, could be, it could be infinite in time. That process could have gone on I I infinitely. <laughs> and there could be an infinite number of universes and, 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 and they're all way beyond the region we'll ever be able to see because they're expanding exponent in a space that's expanding exponentially fast. So the universes are being dragged apart faster than you'll ever be able to measure. And so... Most of us think that it's most likely that we live in what's called a multiverse, which is namely our universe is not all there is. There's other potential universes in which even the laws of physics could be different. Because what I didn't get to say early on is that the one presumption that it's simple to make, that, or that, well, the one presumption that makes it easiest to understand a universe from nothing is to assume that quantum mechanics, you know, in some sense pre exist our universe, that the laws of physics were fixed. And our universe arose in them. But people say, well, if you have the laws, then that's nothing. And my answer to that is, well, you don't necessarily need the laws. It could be that the laws come into existence when the universe comes into existence. And the other universes come in, can come into existence with different laws of physics. And, and that we don't know. That's, that's really metaphysics, but it's certainly a possibility. But it's quite possible that in these other universes in the multiverse... Um, there are other laws of physics that particles have different have different masses that there are different forces. All of that is possible, and I think that's the best sort of metaphysical picture of, of 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 our of if you want our our universe's origin. But but we don't. But anything anything we say about t equals zero at the exact beginning is is pure speculation. It's 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 metaphysics. You can call that philosophy if you want, but it, we don't have any evidence to to sort of um, uh, refute it, and therefore, right now, it's you know, it's fine to talk about, but it's just talk. <laughs>